What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so it's been a while, guys, playing Pokemon Heart Gold in the last episode. Yeah, five months ago. So here we are in Vermilion City, and obviously we're going to be going into the essentials, like picking out some stuff. Now this guy used to give you the old rod, he's going to be telling you about the magic carpet and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be checking out a few things here in Vermilion City. There's really not a lot of th a lot of things that you can actually check now. This is three years after the events uh, of Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, or Leaf Green, Fire Red, you know that kind of stuff. And these individuals will be telling us about the magnet train that connects both Kanto and Johto. We will be visiting that later on. And well, here we are in the Pokemon Fan Club, where in well, where the president actually gave you a bike voucher back in. Uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, or not, not Heart Gold, but Pokemon Leaf Green and uh, Fire Red. He's a very, he's a big lover of Pokemon, big big lover, and he just wants us to hear his, uh, his, uh, you know, his enthusiasm for all this Pokemon, including his Rapidash. And well, he's just telling us how divine it is, and because we heard him out, he will give us a rare candy. And uh, well, there we go. He's gonna be giving us a. Uh, just a bunch of prompts and all that stuff. Now, the main focus of this whole place is going to be the Vermilion City Gym. Yes, guys, we're coming back to more gym battles, and we don't necessarily need a cut technique anymore to go through this whole area. We can actually surf right behind this and bam, get on the ledge right here. So here we are, the Vermilion City Gym. Same old place, same old trick, same old everything and all that crud. And uh, yeah, it has always been a... I don't know. I don't know how to say. It. It's always been a thorn on my butt because of the the kind of a trickery that it has right here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be switching out some items for my Pokemon. I'm uh, as you probably already noticed. Uh, what was it? Uh, Cinder actually has the experience share, and I kind of want to just switch out some stuff. That way, you know, uh, I even out my Pokemon's levels. I did say in the last episode that yeah, we're gonna be. Uh, what was it? We're going to be uh, changing up a few things. I did bring in a few uh, other extra stuff thanks to the PAL Park, so keep an eye out for that one. 20 episodes recorded. And, uh, well, let's see. Taking a look at my Pokemon right here, and yes, uh, like I said, guys, it's been five months, so you kind of forget about the things that you put onto your Pokemon. I'm taking that experience here, realizing that Cinder does have Earthquake, so we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to be using that thing to its fullest extent right here. He has uh, ground types, and I don't think I have a ground type Pokemon, but we're going to be giving this Shell Bell straight to Cinder. That way, you know, it doesn't feel left out with any kind of items that it may have. So, let's go right ahead, and uh, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Obviously, we can't use Nessie nor Toxic Batman in this gym, and these trash cans. Oh my god, the vein of my existence. And the good thing is that we can actually double battle in this gym too. So that we're knocking two birds with one stone. And, uh, yeah. Alrighty, so here we go. Our very first battle in the Kanto region. Listen as, you know, the theme song changes right here. We're taking on both Jolteon and Electrode. And one of the biggest things that you guys have to, like, have to see right here is that... Electric type Pokemon are usually fast. You got to bring in a, a lot of paralysis heals because they will paralyze you. Knowing me, I will get paralyzed like about 10 times by the time this episode's done. And right after I switched out my Lapras for Toxic Batman, here we go with an Earthquake attack. Again, two birds, one stone. All right, Electrode. Say goodbye. That's right. How does it feel to fail? Not so good. And here we go with Jolteon, and Jolteon faints as well. You see, two birds, one stone. It doesn't really matter, guys. I got this. I got this. And just like that, Cinder grows to level 58, and everybody else is grabbing some experience points, including Toxic Batman, since it didn't really get affected by any of this earthquake attack. So the mission here is to protect Toxic Batman, because it will die. And here we got two balls and one Pokemon. So here we go with an earthquake attack, and... Yes, it does not affect our good old buddy Toxic Batman. And there's one. You know, a Jigglypuff seen from above. That is the biggest mindfuck that you have ever seen on the episodes right there, guys. And here comes the other one, Voltorb. It's a Pokeball. There we go. All right, all right. 
So that's another Pokemon down, and Toxic Batman grows to level 50. Welcome to the level 50 club. And everybody else grabbing some experience points, and yeah, the U-turn does not work. So here we go with Magnemite. So this right here is going to be interesting because, well, now I think Magnemite does have it level Levitate or something like that. I could be wrong. So let's go with Eruption since it does hit both Pokemon on the opposite side right here. So here we go. Eruption. And Eruption does it. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah, so Eruption is kicking some butt, and there we go, Electrode has been defeated. Cinder is a god in this one. Oh yeah, this Magnemite had no chance. No chance whatsoever right here. And, well, let's see. What else? Yes, we're, we're, we're getting experience points. Gotta love the old experience share and all that crud, guys. It, it does come in handy, especially right here. Okay, so that's one down, and we're gonna finish this old guy up right here. I believe this is the guy from the war, right? Yeah, the guy that's uh, loyal to Lieutenant Surge. Now, one one good thing that I love about Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver is the fact that they brought back some of the old stuff from Leaf Green and uh, Fire Red, Red, Blue, and Yellow. Um, if you were to play Pokemon Crystal or Pokemon Silver, Gold, for that matter. You, you will see that, you know, the the little puzzle right here will not work, and it's due to the, the whole power outage in Kanto. Right here, it's still going on. Uh, it may be, like, the vein of my existence right here, but you know what? I actually do agree with, like, keeping that right here. Um, having the whole, the whole uh, what was it, blackout effect, certain areas of, the, of Kanto. That's perfect. Perfect right there. Not only that, but it would it gets to frustrate a bunch of people since, you know, we're going back to the whole puzzle right here. And, well, here we go with Flaffy. Flaffy has uh, been eliminated right there real quickly by Hercules. And crap. There we go. Number one. Yeah, you gotta love the fact that I'm getting uh, paralyzed every friggin' time. And, well, this guy's coming out with Electrike. So let's go right ahead and go with Cinder. Cinder's gonna be the man, the myth, the legend. Never understood why I didn't get in a get an actual ground type Pokemon. Almost, I was almost gonna get Don Fan, but I don't think you can get Don Fan in this game right here either. Or I could be wrong. I mean, I'm thinking of other games. And well, here we go. Electric is eliminated. Yes, sir. Okay. And, well, we're, here we go. We're getting some more points, and Gregory has been defeated. Yes, this is the man that's very loyal to uh, Lieutenant Surge, because well, Lieutenant Surge saved him, and I understand why. And here we found the first switch. Now, it's usually next to the, the net, well, next to the, the one that you found it, but as you can see right here, all these trash cans are right next to each other, so it might be the one that you've gotten beforehand, so... Let's see, we're just gonna go up and down, all around, that's what she said, and uh, see what we can actually, uh, where we can actually find this god dang switch. Hopefully it's like through the first try, or second try right here, and here we go, first one. Okay, so, might be the one that we didn't get, and here we have the second one. Now, there was one time where I accidentally pressed the button, or pressed the A button by, well, by accident, and I had to restart the whole thing. That right there is the reason why I don't like this gem for its puzzle. So, let's go right ahead and uh, heal my Pokemon because that's always good to do. Let's go ahead and give Hercules his, uh, his full heal. And let's go right ahead and take on Lieutenant Surge, a.k.a. Guile from Street Fighter. And yes, he's never lost in the battlefield. I want to know what battle this is. So there it is, guys. We're taking on Lieutenant Surge, Guile from Street Fighter. Look at this guy. He does look like Guile. Don't tell me he doesn't, guys. So here we go. He's starting out with his Raichu, level 51, looking like a tank right now. Best way, best way to defeat these Pokemon is through ground-type Pokemon, but other Pokemon that will not be affected by these guys, you know, the, the usual grass-type Pokemon. And uh, who else? Rock-type Pokemon. Yeah, those guys can actually beat these guys. And just like that, Raichu has been defeated. Oh, yes. And the number of the beasts is the experience points for all my Pokemon. So he's coming out with an Electrode. And this guy right here is at level 47. Again, these Pokemon are fast. They're electric type Pokemon. And they like to use moves like this. Double team. They like to mess with you guys. They really do. So here we go. Earthquake attack. And that, that right there will take care of uh, Electrode. So there we go. 
Say goodbye to Electrode. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, a critical hit. I'm flexing my muscles right now. And we're well, see. Here we go. He's coming out with another Electrode. Usually these uh, these gym leaders like to keep doubles of Pokemon with different abilities, different sp like different attacks. And this guy likes to use the light screen attack. Now, is Earthquake a physical attack or a special attack? It's one or the other. I don't know. It's probably a special. Let's go ahead and see. And uh, well, I guess it was more physical then. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so Cinder grows more levels. And here he comes out with a Magneton, so yes, I picked the right Pokemon for this whole thing. The Cinder Job, or the Cinder uh, Show, featuring Cinder the Cyndaquil, evolved into a, well, not Kulava, Typhlosion, yes. See, we're getting stuff, guys. And, uh, well, look at this, Flamethrower, for the win, say goodbye. Say goodbye to our good old buddy Magneton, and, well, let's see. What else is next? Oh yeah, Toxic Babbin grows to level 51, and it's finally learning Air Slash. Now the thing is that I I want to learn it. I would replace Fly if I could, but I can't. So yeah, we're gonna have to yeah, we're gonna have to X N on the whole flying thing. And yes, I got yeah, no, no, I don't want Air Slash. So here we go, elect the buzz. And uh, well, I'm just gonna keep Cinder right here. That champ is here, ready to go, and he's like, it's not over yet, it's just the beginning. Uh, I think it's the end now, because uh, take a look at this. Earthquake attack for the win. It is a clean sweep. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Look at that, look at that, okay. Critical hit, and we are, we are good to go right there, guys. Good to go, and well, that is pretty much it. That earns us our very first badge in the Kanto region. And well, that's right. You are strong. Here's the Thunder Badge. All right. So that makes it nine badges, guys. Trust me, I was very, very surprised when you can actually earn these badges in Pokemon uh, Crystal, Silver, and, uh, and Gold. And he gives us a TM34, which happens to be Shockwave, which we'll never miss. And now he's letting us know that, hey, go north, there is a city called Saffron City. Okay, that's probably the next place we're going to be going to. So, Professor Oak, of course, is going to be calling us. And he's like, this is Professor Oak, getting a lot of Pokemon, aren't you? And that is pretty much it. Cool. All right. Thanks uh, Thanks for calling me. Maybe I should have answered those phone calls for my mom. She gave me, or she would give me a better conversation. And yes, we're going to get attacked by a wild Pokemon. Don't really care. Look at that, it's a tentacle. Anywho, guys, this was a this was a pretty good episode, a starter episode for Pokemon Heart Gold. I am finally back here, and we're gonna finish this whole walkthrough. And uh, well, like it says on my schedule, this game will be on a Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, we're gonna be getting two a week just to make it a programming and all that stuff. And as you can see nine badges in all can't wait to get all of them so thank you guys again for watching i'll see you guys next time